Rory is backpedaling like a mofo right now. I think there's like three really specific reasons why Rory has changed his mind on Liv. One, he doesn't want to be the PGA Tour's whipping boy any longer. He looked like the dude who was trying to drive a wedge between the PGA Tour and Liv for no reason. Reason number two, it's inevitable. It's inevitable that Liv, they're not, we're, Liv is not going away. Where now they have sponsors, bigger names on the, at their events, built a nice foundation. They want, they want golf. They don't want the money. They want the sport. And they're going to get the sport. It's inevitable, I think. And then, of course, there's the John Rahm thing. He's such a respected player, such a good person, and has done so much for golf in such a short period of time already in his career, that if you're going to talk bad about Liv, now you're talking bad about John Rahm. You know what? I heard a crazy story about John Rahm the other day. He was on his way home from practice, and there was a, a bus on fire on the highway. He ran in to the bus, saved like three children that was on the bus, right? And then he came off the bus, and they were like, John, there's still puppies on the bus. So he ran back into the fire on the bus, saved the puppies. And when he came out, they were like, John, there are puppy toys in the bus. So he went back into the fire a third time, and he got the puppy toys too. That's the kind of man John Rahm is. You think of, of Rory backtracking more and more and more and more and more, and now he's just okay with it. Yeah. Hilarious. He's been you know, trashing them since the beginning almost. And then, like you said, he just keeps putting his foot in his mouth every time he opens it up about something about Liv, and he's just making himself look worse. I mean, for a guy who thinks he's up here above everybody, he's coming down here, and everybody's starting to notice it now. It's interesting. You think back like two years ago, he was probably one of the more well-respected golfers around. Maybe not from like the casual fan, but when you talk to other players, they deferred to Rory for... You know, they put he's on the board, he's doing all these things, and he's being the poster child and winning a little bit. And yeah, I mean, he hasn't won a major since, I don't know, some 10 year old was born, something like that. But his rep just got absolutely destroyed. His reputation got destroyed over this live thing. Um, I think he might be, um, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, insulted that he didn't get an offer to go to live. I think that's starting to really kind of, kind of get at him. Like maybe he's thinking, if I can, if I can complain you know if i can be complicit and uh you know prostrate myself in front of live maybe i can get a contract and pay back all the investors that sunk my money sunk money into a thing that's never actually going to happen and i think he was again like you said bought hurt he didn't get any money offered his way and now he went out stood out on a limb for everybody in the pga tour and then they made a deal with the exact person that he was told to you know, admonish and, and, and degrade, which he did every chance he got.